he's way out of shape. Into the wall goes out. Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. Back after a little bit of a break. Appreciate you hanging in there. We are ready to race today for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in season number two. Now, last time out, we were at Monaco. It was a good result for our team. Not quite the best result, but if you missed that episode, I'll put a link to that up in the top right-hand corner of your screen so you can watch that one and make sure you're all caught up on where things stand before today's race. We head out to the city streets of Baku, our first real power track of the schedule. And we got a great car, fourth best on the grid, ready to rock and roll. So let's take a look at the activities that we got lined up for this week before we head out to the track. We were given nine days to work with. I was able to fill up eight of them with four different events. It's going to get us a variety of driver acclaim, a little bit of money, some sim training for Charles to help his experience stat, uh, and some team acclaim as well. So uh, able to maximize or almost maximize the nine days that we got. Not bad. Let's take a look at our facilities real quick. Everything at a spec two looking good there. No facility upgrades in the pipeline right now. We got to start saving up money for Charles' second contract for the second half of the year. We want to make sure that we can re-sign him. Uh, so we're in a little bit of money-saving mode, but right now all the facilities are in really, really good shape, pumping out good resource points for us. Yeah, I'm happy with it. On the R&D side, we got two minor updates in the works right now. Both of those scheduled to arrive on the car before the upcoming race so as long as they don't fail we'll get a couple of minor upgrades one for chassis one for aerodynamics that's going to be really helpful we'll take everything that we can get the drag reduction will be huge for those long straightaways the weight reduction always good to have a lighter car too last but not least we have a full complement of fresh motor components ready to go at the end of monaco our little motor was absolutely exhausted super worn and not generating maximum power now we'll have a completely fresh engine in the car for baku which is going to be so critical again need maximum power for those long straightaways and uh yeah we got what we could out of that first unit we'll move on to the second one we should be okay all right let's roll time forward and see if our uh our upgrades come in as expected or if we get hit with the big ugly red x let's hope not let's go boys pump them out for me Got our activity done. Cable assembly came through. Perfect. Sim training done for Charles. The barge boards came through. Two for two on the upgrades. You love to see that right there. So, hell yeah, Carl. Perfect. Exactly what I like to see. So no failures there. Got our two upgrades on the car. I'll head out to the track, get our setup installed in the car, get the practice programs done. We'll see you in the paddock here in just a moment. Welcome to the paddock here in Azerbaijan. You can see the weather forecast there from Jeff. Everything's looking clear and sunny, so we should be good to go. No rain, nothing to worry about. Just flat out speed as we fly around the city streets of Baku. Reminds you of our rivalry. We're racing against Max Verstappen for our rival. We've beaten him three out of the four times so far. We've got a nice little 9-4 to four lead on that, so that's good to see. Hopefully we can extend that lead a little bit here today. Let's take a look at the R&D. We got one upgrade in the works. We got enough resource points throughout practice that I put a major chassis weight reduction upgrade. Uh, should be done before the French Grand Prix. Couldn't rush it to get it done before Canada, so had some decisions to make. And uh, that was the direction I went, was a major upgrade. Lightweight wheel rims should help uh, lighten up the car a little bit, make it a little bit more nimble. That's what we like to see. And as we look at the overall performance index, we are now the second best car on the grid, just barely over Ferrari. We might be tied with Ferrari. It's tough to tell there on the graph, but um, we're, we're a little bit ahead of McLaren. That midfield fight with um, Racing Point and Red Bull, Renault, the uh, Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tauri and Haas is right there as well. So really thick knot of cars there just below us and Williams down there doing Williams things. But, you know, we're, we're closing the gap to Mercedes and, uh, you know, we won't have another upgrade for Canada. So we'll flatline there, but then we'll have another major upgrade for France. Maybe that'll separate us from Ferrari. Who knows? But it's fun to be this far up on the performance index. Still a long way to go before we catch Mercedes. Speaking of Mercedes and catching them, we got to look at the point standings. Valtteri Bottas is trying to run away with this thing. 
So here's your standings. Botas, 150 points over me and Charles. We got 11 points on Charles. Uh, Botas has won back-to-back -back races. So hopefully we can bring an end to that streak today. On the constructor side, Mercedes has jumped out to a pretty sizable lead. But we also have a very comfortable lead, 87 points over McLaren for second. Things are looking good. We can get another double podium today like we did in Monaco. I think we're going to be just fine. Qualifying went pretty well. This is a tough track. If you get it wrong, you're going to have front wing damage. But plenty of speed. This car has lots of that. Not so much in the uh, twisty parts, but on these straightaways, I don't think there's a better car. Let's head out to the track and head up to Crofty for the pre-race in Grid Rundown. And a warm welcome to you from Azadlik Square, heart of Baku and home, of course, to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With high speeds, tight corners and few runoff zones, many are expecting a safety car here today. So our drivers will have to stay very much on their toes and hopefully away from the barriers. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Why don't we start by talking about Valtteri Bottas? Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromise start. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Davidson completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, and Gasly, Stroll, Perez, Ricardo, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Bottas, Norris, Esteban Ocon, and Russell, Albon, Kvyat, Kevin Magnussen, and Max Verstappen, Latifi, Matsushita, De Vries, and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Welcome to the grid here in Baku. As you saw in the grid rundown, big problems for championship leader Valtteri Bottas. Exactly what we need to be able to pounce on him. He's going to be starting in 11th because of the grid penalty that promotes us up to the front row. A front row lockout for Shield Speed GP. Charles on pole, we were right there behind him. So these cars are quick, very similar. And it came down to race strategy. I know what I've picked. I don't know what he's picked. We're going to be doing a one-stop strategy, softs to hards. And uh, it, it wanted me to do a two-stop, soft, medium, medium. But it was like seven seconds faster, according to the data, to run softs to hards. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll see if it's the right call. But we got a good view of things here. We just got to make sure we take care of our teammate and maybe go one-two here in Baku. Botas has a long race ahead of him. But I imagine with the pace in that Mercedes, he'll be able to pick up some positions. Never know. Weird things happen here. Let's get this race started and find out if we can make up massive amount of points on the Mercedes driver. Maybe go for a second win here. Here we go. Looking for five red lights. Me and Charles on the front row for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And away we go. Immediately attacked by Hamilton Sainz. Vettel was right there. We shoved him out. Charles got a good getaway. Me, not so much. We got Hamilton and Sainz trying to figure it out here of who's going to be second. Hamilton's going to get the job done around the outside. Nice drive by Hamilton. Hope that doesn't mean he's going to go get our teammate now. All right, not the greatest of jobs by me to start off this race. But that's okay. I accidentally left on the um, suggested line for this race, too. I usually have it on for qualifying. But, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to turn it off for the race, so sorry. 
go around the outside of signs, get the pass done, go up into third. This car's so fast in a straight line. Not so good in the turny parts, but in a straight line, it's pretty pieced. We're losing touch with Hamilton just a little bit. And again, this thing's strength is on the straightaways. The compromise is pretty shitty in the turns. Signs has got us set up here. Approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. And he didn't make the pass. All right, Charles is out by about four seconds. Two seconds up to Hamilton. And we got a little grouping of cars behind us, including Signs and Gasly. Vettel and a pink car's back there too. Gasly and Signs fighting back there and it really slowed both of them down. Open up a big gap behind us. Now we got the two Ferraris behind us. Gasly and Vettel, they dispatched the McLaren of Signs. We're holding on to third, not bad. We're coming in this lap for a set of mediums. Fine by me, this thing feels really slippery. These tires are really going. Oh yeah, these things are done. It's been a terrible lap. Awful in lap. These tires are shot. 48% worn on the rears, 52 on the right rear, yeah. All right, boys, let's get a good pit stop here. There we go, boys. Service complete. Came out right uh, between Roman Grosjean and Nick. A nice pit stop, too. Got to be patient with this traffic. Try not to lose too much time being stuck behind them all. Charles is in the pits. There we go. Let's blast through these guys on the straightaway. Excuse me, coming through. The double overtake on Matsushita and Grosjean. That was bold. That was nice. That was really nice. We set up Grosjean, but we gained so much time on Matsushita. I just went for it. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. We're gonna have DRS again. Yellow flag. Yellow flag. There's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. Oh, Lance Stroll blew up. Okay, clear. Oh, that was really uh, bad timing. We only got Verstappen, which is fine. But I guess that was good for Stroll because he blew up right on his way into the pits. So no safety car again because we never get safety cars. shape into the wall goes <laughs> oh my god massive tank slapper oh my god i thought we were dead right there that was huge get an effing chat for alex albon oh my god i was gonna say he's on soft tires he's gonna be struggling for grip but good god he almost yeah i mean he killed the wall Oh, look at this kerfuffle. All right, that was not a good idea. Hopefully these guys start pitting in front of us. It's just, it's so hard to overtake here. So few opportunities, especially when you're in a DRS train like this. Just can't do a whole lot. Here we go, here we go.
Thank you very much. See ya. Well, we got a nice little gap over Vettel now. He struggled to get around Kvyat, I think. We got Giovinazzi Magnuson here in front of us. They have yet to stop. Throw it up into Rich. Overtake. These ERS upgrades. Uh, yeah. ERS upgrades. I always have full battery ready to go down the front straightaway here. Magnuson blocking into the inside. Take it around the outside. Get the job done. Up into sixth. Come here, Gio. That was close. All right, we'll get DRS on Giovinazzi. Magnuson will get our DRS. Sorry, we should be able to get him here. Go, baby, go. Oh my God, look at the speed. <laughs> All right, up into fifth. Drive away from him. Got Norris two and a half seconds up the road. You have P5, P5. Norris just ahead. Push for the position. The gap to the car ahead is 2.6 seconds. They're on old hearts. Giovinazzi is behind you. They're on old hearts. The distance to the leader is 15.0 seconds. Pit window will open in three laps time. Pit window opens in three laps. 14 laps to go. Zero. There you go. There's your mid-race update. I think P3 is about as good as it's going to get for us. Which isn't too bad, I guess, but I don't know. I feel like really did not do a good job so far, especially compared to Charles. Why is there a zero stuck at the bottom of my screen? I think Jeff's broken. He's broken. It's broken. I think we have broken Jeff completely. Well, this will be fun. If you like zero at the bottom of your screen, make sure you hit the like button on this video. <laughs> oh, Jesus. One like equals one prayer for Jeff. Well, I haven't really been able to make up a whole lot of ground now on Norris. Kind of gotten away from me a little bit. Charles is in. But he's doing the same two-stop strategy that we are. Softs, mediums, mediums. I think the guys in front of us are on a one-stop. Softs to hards. Yeah, Charles is on mediums. And there's Charles. Everyone wave to Charles. I guess I'm supposed to pit this lap. Again, with Jeff having uh, had a minor medical event during the race. I have no idea. Vettel has absolutely reeled me in. Hot pit, hot pit. Here we go. On to a used set of mediums. Hopefully not too used. I thought I had a fresh set of mediums left, but I guess not. So this will be interesting. Oh, lightly used. Barely used. We'll be fine. I think they have one lap on them. Maybe two. Okay, here we go. The chase is on now. Ricardo with the fastest lap of the race right there got a DRS tow from us. Be nice to get some DRS from somebody. Got a little ways to go to catch people for DRS. Oh, we smacked a wall. <laughs> oh no, Ricardo. Oh, buddy, that ain't it. Well, I imagine Ricardo is going to be pitting here with his broken front wing. Yeah, he's pitting. Good job, dumbass. Lando came out on softs. 
He's going to go a long way on softs. I don't know about that. God, fighting with Ricardo ultimately for nothing cost me so much time. Okay, take it easy on the car. We can't sustain this level of damage. Welcome back, Jeff. You okay, buddy? I guess he's all right. He went to the infield medical center and got checked and released. Oh, thank God. We were worried about you, Jeff. Jivana oh my god, Givenazzi! What is with these These dive bomb moves and he gets DRS. What the f oh my god. This race is really falling apart. Yeah, I'm here. How about it? Botas is only in ninth. We really had a good opportunity to make up a lot of points on him today. And for whatever reason, we're not going to be able to capitalize on it in the next six laps. Perez is in the pits. I don't know if we're going to catch these guys in front of us. We're really, really far back. Only five laps to go. It just doesn't seem likely. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Thank you, Jeff. Good to have you back, brother. This is going to be a really disappointing result after starting second, barely finishing in the points if we're lucky. Okay, gap ahead is 5.3 seconds. Teammate ahead is 28.6 seconds. 28.6 seconds up to Charles. Wow. I hope he's leading. Wow. I am really, really disappointed with this. Uh, I, I thought we would do a lot better than this, but I, I just did a, a really poor job today. Really poor job. I struggle with this track. This is not a track that I really like. And uh, I just did a really bad job of managing the car, managing our pace, managing traffic. Really unfortunate. Because with Botas finishing ninth, we had a really great opportunity to make up a lot of points. In both driver and constructor. But it looks like Charles is going to be the savior for us today. I cannot wait to get to Canada next race. I'll tell you that right now. If I don't win Canada, I'm going to be very surprised. That'll be my expectation going into that race will be to win Canada. Well, let's get the last lap of this race in the books here and get out of here with our one point for 10th. Awful. Absolutely just, just terrible. Lewis Hamilton wins. Oh, that's not good. Charles didn't win. Damn it. That's a really bad day then. That's a really bad day. Not only did I fall all the way to 10th, but Charles didn't win. Ugh. Awful, awful stuff. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Yeah, that's a forgetful race right there. Uh, forgettable, I should say. Ocon driver of the day, good for him. I just uh, never put it together. And so ends never put it together race. in this race. And uh, well the the car was not... Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I don't know. It wasn't there for me. It just never felt well under me. The driver did everything it, it wasn't comfortable to drive. It wasn't quick. Lacked grip. Really and uh, I don't know, man. We got work to do. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes so, team. And they you know, at least we got up on the podium with Charles. Ocon got up on the podium too. Wow. Charles P2, Ocon in third. But I got to do a better job. That was a uh, that was a really bad performance. 
Lewis Hamilton gets the win on a one-stop strategy from the fourth position. Charles almost got him. I mean, that's a 1.6 second margin of victory, but still couldn't get it done on the two-stopper. Ocon in third, up from the 13th position. Wow, what a drive. Uh, Vettel and Gasly get fourth and fifth. Signs and Norris, sixth and seventh for McLaren. George Russell up into eighth with the Alfa Romeo. My God. Nice drive. Valtteri Bottas in ninth as the championship leader. We can hold on for 10th. Giovinazzi, Perez, Latifi, Magnussen, Ricardo, who we had a little bit of a run in with. He finishes 15th after the extra stop. Verstappen and Albon. Red Bull are absolutely terrible. Just horrendous performance for Red Bull. Uh, Grosjean, Kvyat, Matsushita, DeVries, and Stroll there and last with the DNF. He blew up, remember, on the front straightaway. I just, I can't believe Red Bull. 16th and 17th, they're absolutely awful. So bad. They're both Honda-powered cars like us, but Jesus, they are really, really bad. Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than a missed opportunity, really, for us as uh, Botas had a tough day. Good day for McLaren. They're going to get some points on us in Constructors. Good day for Ferrari, uh, Ferrari as well. I don't know. I just feel like I just did a terrible job in this race. So, yeah, I'm thankful that Canada's up next. I like that track and uh, should be a good bounce back for us. But I would have felt a little bit better if Charles had won. Uh, Two-stop strategy was not the play. We just got it wrong from top to bottom today. Oh, what do you want? Yeah, amazing performance, right? Well, I was just talking about them, Claire. They're uh, they're shit. They're really bad. I um, think their drivers have been working wonders with what they have to drive. They're really bad. Your teammate is up on the podium today. This is a great thing for the team, isn't it? What school of journalism did you go to, Claire? Well, I mean, in what in what universe is being up on the podium not a great thing for the team? What a dumbass question. Oh my lord. Fantastic. Not many cars on the grid can be driven as hard as that. It's amazing. It's amazing. Culmination of everything we've been working towards. You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? I don't know, Claire. Why don't you jump in the car and see what you can do with it? I don't remember hitting anything. Maybe I need to watch the replay. Appreciate your time. I wish I could say the same. Well, despite the rough day... We still picked up points on Verstappen because Red Bull is in absolute shambles. I mean, they are just so uncompetitive. It's not even funny. Uh, Charles is going to level up next race to a 15. Almost there. We're, we're full level behind him, but he'll be up to a 15 after Canada. And um, full complement of payouts from the sponsors, at least. That's like the one good thing for today. We both had damage deductions. Yikes. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a decent money day. Move on with it. Oh, what could have been in today's race? Just uh, a huge missed opportunity for us all around. We got the strategy wrong. I don't know what happened to the setup. It felt way different in practice than it did in the race. I'm not trying to make excuses, but Jesus Christ, this one was rough. So we'll bounce back. We got the Canadian Grand Prix up next, the track that I absolutely love, and I do believe that we're going to be in good shape. We had a great run at Canada in Season 1. No reason to think we won't have another great run here in Season 2 with an even better car. So we'll pack her up, try to do better, I guess, next time. Yikes, that was uh, not my finest performance. But it's a team sport. We win together. We lose together. All in all, second place for Charles, not bad. Uh, we still finished in the points, but not where we really wanted to. So we'll do better next time out, and that's all I can offer you at this point. But what you can offer me is at least a thumbs up, a like on the video, and a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Feel free to be brutally honest with me. I know you guys always are, and I appreciate it. I didn't drive well. I'll say it first. I didn't drive well. So I got to do better, and I will do better next time out. But good for Charles. Uh, the points will be interesting as well with Botas struggling a little bit. But still plenty of races to go here in Season 2. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to be challenging for a championship just yet. But we can make a little bit of noise. We got a lot of work to do on this car, and we'll do it between now and the next time out. But I'm looking forward to Canada. I really, really am. So I hope you are excited as well. And, uh, well, 
all we can do is improve. So with that being said, we'll bring today's episode to a close. I really do appreciate you watching it. And if you're new to the community, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see plenty more sim racing content right here on the channel. As for me, I'll go lick my wounds and prepare to do better in Canada. But we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, be good. Be good to each other. We will see you in the next episode.